What's going on YouTube today? I am not gonna waste your time. You guys came for a tier list video and I'm gonna give you a tier list video. My only request is that as you stay that for the majority of the video as long as you possibly can. It's gonna be a longer video, so get your popcorn, relax, and just chill. Leave your thoughts down below, but let's jump right into it, not wasting any more time. All right, first we got a Jaden Ivey from the Detroit Pistons. He's a, he had a pretty solid year. He went under the radar in terms of rookies, but I'm gonna put him in solid for right now. He's a very solid piece for the Detroit pistons i like his game a lot i think he will fit very well next to Cade. but then you have the one thompson twin there so you have three of them i don't know what they're gonna do with that but he's definitely a solid player probably at the top mid solid i'll put these players in rankings in their tier once we get more players in benedict mathern is definitely solid same class as jade Ivey, definitely for sure he's a great scorer someone that kind of flew it under the radar as well i didn't expect that out of him not at all and he definitely showed off this year for sure we have have Devin Booker he's decent now D book is I say he's decent it's like it's like I'm playing I'm playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to be mad. Obviously, Book is a superstar. I don't care. Some people don't think he's a superstar. You're crazy if he's not a superstar. You're actually crazy. D-Book is easily a superstar. Don't even tell me he's not. One of the best scorers in the game. One of the best mid-range shooters in the game. Can score any given way and is such an underrated passer and playmaker. That might be the most underrated attribute in his game. And he is definitely improving on the defensive end as well. He took a lot of strides in defense this year that people don't give him credit for. He might be the best shooting guard in the league right now. I'm just saying. Next up, we got Colin Sexton. He was solid, but I got to put him on decent. With the Cavs, he was showing promise. I think he had like a 40-point game with the Cavs. He was doing well with the Cavs, but I don't know if he kind of fit what they were direction they were trying to go into. And I mean, then it up with Donovan Mitchell. You really can't complain. He can improve. He has that tenacity, intensity, but we have not really seen it since Cleveland. So I'm going to keep him in decent tier. Now we got Ant-Man. Anthony Edwards is one of my favorite players to watch. He is hilarious. He is... This is hard man um he's a he's a borderline superstar he is two years away from being a superstar two years he's gonna be the bottom of all nba hate me all you want i see the potential there he has everything and he plays both sides of the ball i got I'm, he's all nba my list i'm unbiased I'm not putting there because he's one of my favorite players i think his game speaks for itself I mean, in the playoffs, look, he did against the Nuggets. He performed and bought out against the NBA champions. And Bruce Brown said it himself on a podcast with Theo Pinson. Anthony Edwards is a problem. You can go watch the Theo Pinson's podcast himself. He said that. So a player that had to guard him is saying he was the hardest player he had to guard in the playoffs. I have him at the bottom of all NBA. Devin Vassell is solid. He is very overlooked in the NBA. He averaged about 18, 19, I think this year. He's going to be a part of that Wemby, Trey Jones, and Keldon Johnson, a part of that build right there. I like his game. He's a good scorer, good shooter. So I think he fits well with that young Spurs team. Now we got Tyrese Maxey. To me, Tyrese Maxey is he, this is a hard decision. This is a hard decision. I'm putting him in all-star. He's going to be at the bottom of all-star. Did he make an all-star team? No. Is he an all-star caliber player? I believe he can be, especially if James Harden leaves. I have Tyrese Maxey being an all-star. If James Harden leaves, there's potential Tyrese Maxey could be an all-star this year. Now, he's not a guaranteed all-star, which is why he's going to be at the bottom of my list. But for right now, I'm keeping him at the all-star, the bottom of the list. He might end up the top of very good. But right now, I'm keeping him at all-star. Herb Jones, I love Herb Jones' game. He's going to be at the top of solid. He is one of the best defenders in the league and is improving every aspect of his game. The Pelicans got to steal with this one. Whoever does the Pelicans scouting and whoever overviews college players and stuff, they need a raid. This guy is very good. And they have other guys who kind of fell under the radar that are very good for them as well. Trey Murphy is a fantastic player as well. They have a few guys that fit their team very well and have a lot of potential. And, and whoever is picking these guys and looking at them and scouting them, they're doing their job the right way. Man, this is going to be controversial. I already know. All right. Um, Paul George. I love PG, man. The best basketball most comfortable basketball shoot in the NBA besides Kobe. Man, this is hard. I'm going to put PG all NBA for right now. I need to see who else is up here. Let me see who else is up here for right now. There's a lot of controversial ones at the beginning of this list. One of the better players for a long time in the league. One of the better two-way players. His defense is not the same as it used to be, but his offensive game has, I think, stayed steadily the same. Just he had to adjust and play a different way. I think PG is still a top 20 player in the nba so i mean does that give him all nba on my list i think he's top 20 to yeah, he's top yeah pd's top 20 to 22 23 and there's what five guys on all nba team man i don't know in terms of shooting guards is he all nba yes 100 if we're going the total nba i don't know if he's all nba 
I don't know, because he barely made the All-Star game. I'm going to put him in All-Star. That hurts. That really hurts to see that. For right now, I'm going to put him at All-Star. I'm just going to keep him right here. Jordan Poole, I think he's going to be very good. I don't think he's going to be an All-Star this year, but I think he will be very good for the Wizards, and I think he'll have a 20 four 25 point per game season and just be free again be the young kid that can do play the way that he is the best at playing going out there and having fun and being good at the same time while having fun so i mean i got jordan pool at very good i don't think he's solid i think he's better than those guys below him but i don't think he's on the level of pg and tyrese maxi he is i think that's a perfect spot it's very good zach levine zach levine's all-star i put him but i'm gonna keep him right here for right now zach levine is definitely a all-star level player one of the most he might be the most underrated player in the nba he averaged i think 25 a game last year and does not get talked about the bulls have not been playing as well as they should he was I think about to get traded the prior to this season in the summer um he's a great player doesn't use his athleticism as much as he used to as you remember his 2016 dunk contests were legendary but his game has evolved he's more of a off the dribble guy tough shot maker get to the rim finish he has a smooth all-around offensive game and i think all-star is a great spot for him dinwiddie is so at the top of solid i believe he's a top of solid he's a good off the bench score not someone you can go in the game and say all right lead us to victory but he's someone that as a star player you can rely on him he played well with that mavericks team two seasons ago in the playoffs and brunson he fit well with that team and i'm disappointed that they did what they did man because that team looked very good together i think this nets team and his second stint with the nets he will do very well with them josh giddy josh giddy is solid as well we're gonna have a lot of solid players josh giddy's solid up and coming i think he will creep up this tier list as time goes on and be one of the better players he has his potentials through the roof he's on the team with shea gilgis Jalen williams chet holmgren so there's a lot of young guys on that team i just dropped a video on that if you guys want to watch that as well he's pretty much good at everything there's nothing he's outstanding at but he's good at everything he's a great passer i will say that he's a very good passer, but he's not like a top five passer in the nba or top five scorer he's just solid at everything but passing i would say very good but solid's good for him he will definitely i think in his career at least get up to very good maybe all-star depending how the thunder do but for right now i put him in solid jalen brown is j oh man this is gonna be is jalen brown a superstar i don't have him a superstar i'll put him above ant-man but i think all nba is a, is a good spot for jalen brown i think all nba is a good spot for jalen brown um got the biggest contract in nba history shout out to you jalen brown that is amazing to see i love when guys get their money see them succeeding setting up generational wealth for them and their family that's awesome to see man so shout out jalen brown but in order to crack superstar for me with the team the celtics have i need him to perform better in the playoff him and tatum sometimes for some reason i don't know why in moments where they are needed they don't fold but like there are certain moments where i just don't understand what in the world they're doing no idea and i'm not bashing a player I'm I'm not bashing he's a very good player he's a great player i'm just critiquing what i see and i'm not trying to hate on i don't hate on players i'm just trying to critique what i see and obviously he's one of the top players in the nba and we're ranking him on a super high level but to be a superstar i need to see just a little bit more out of him in the playoffs just a little bit more if we get a little bit more out of him in the playoffs and he performs in the finals even if they lose i put him in superstar i just need to see a little bit more um anthony simon is he better than jordan Poole? man th this shooting guards tier list is a hard one to do i'm not gonna lie based off of last season i'm gonna put simon's over jordan pool i'm gonna keep him at the top of very good for right now but that is subject to change they're not going to be a playoff team this year they have to figure this whole damian lewis situation out by the time this video is up he might be traded but as of right now as of august 2nd he is not traded kevin herter is he's solid i like his fit with the kings i think he fits that team very well i love watching the kings too i'll put him right here this is a good spot for him i'll fix most of these guys later i haven't thought much into that yet he struggled in the playoffs did not play the way that we've seen him play in the past again i think he's an underrated score Score. his game is more diverse it's a more off the dribble than people realize good shooter so solid is a pretty good spot for him Bradley Beal is an all-star level player he's above Tyrese Maxey I think he's below Levine he's obviously one of the best scorers in the NBA he averaged 30 a game about a two years ago three years ago he averaged 30 a game when he's motivated and has something to play for that's the last time you saw him have something to play for so what we will see this year is interesting and the suns want to move him to point guard so i don't i don't know what how that's going to look but i think he's an all-star level player regardless of if he's a 
point guard or not he's an all-star level player one of the best scorers in the game and i'm excited to see what this Suns team is going to look like that's so i'm interested to see gary trent gary trent to me is i would probably put him he's a good scorer he doesn't really do much outside of scoring but he's had some big scoring games in the nba so solid is a good spot for him toronto they have to figure their stuff out i'm not really sure what they're trying to do are they trading siakam i don't know what they're trying to do they're kind of in the middle they're not really a contender but they're not really garbage so it's kind of like what are they trying to do i have no idea i i stopped watching them and trying to figure them out because they really confused me karis lavert karis lavert is also solid we're gonna have to sort this solid list out i'm just gonna throw him in here for right now also a good score i like his fit with the Cavs off the bench does not have too much responsibility if you guys remember he had a 50 point game with the brooklyn nets that was insane i think it was in boston too good score like i said can shoot it needs to be a little bit more consistent but i think Karis Levert in solid is very good. Terry Rozier, uh, once in upon a time, was heading for very good, but again, he is solid. I'm gonna have to move some guys down to decent because this is too many guys in solid. KCP plays his role very well, one of the best three point shooters in the NBA, but I cannot keep putting guys in solid. Um, so <laughs> I love KCP, I like his game, plays his role well, three and D, but he has not nearly as much responsibility as any of these guys above him he kind of just hits the open shot and plays defense which is a big role I'm don't don't get me wrong that is a big role but in terms of options on the team and what the team can do with or without you i think he is decent i would say donovan mitchell is a superstar finally we have another superstar up here what is there to say about donovan mitchell he might be the best shooting guard between him and booker i have booker but if you have donovan mitchell i won't blame you either is an electrifying score had a 70 and 10 game which 70 points first of all 10 assists in an nba game is impressive if you get 10 assists in a game that is great if you put 70 points on top of that that is even more impressive so i mean that might be the most impressive stat line i've ever seen 70 and 10 that is crazy so obviously a superstar don't know if he's gonna stay in cleveland but I don't like his fit with Cleveland. I don't like him and Garland together. They both need the ball a lot. And one of them, they rarely both play well, especially in the playoffs. It was not like that, but Mitchell was obviously a superstar. I don't think there's any arguments there. Now, Clay, I'm going to put Clay in very good. Clay is still to me is very good. Um, he had some good games this year, and his defense is not the same as it used to be, but his shooting is still elite the worry that you have to have as a defender chasing him around and him getting streaky that is still the same he got that back so i still think clay thompson is very good i think he's still very good still one of the best shooters in the nba you cannot take that away from him jalen green this is going to be hard to rank if i put him in very good i'm moving one person up from south jalen green's going to be very good he averaged like 22 23 last year he's really just a score but but he has the athleticism and the feel for the game of a player that can be a star i think he could be a star eventually i'm not gonna put him on the same plane as tyrese maxi and bill but i think very good is a good spot for him i'm not overrating him i feel like um he's a great scorer can light you up any given night but there are some things he's lacking in and i think yudoka and the rest of this rockets team and playing with fred van fleet a veteran been there done that that will help his progression as well so i think very good at the bottom of very good is a good spot for him pat bev decent one of the most irritating people in the nba i love pat bev it's funny to watch him play great podcast as well i always watch his podcast he keeps it real too doesn't sugarcoat anything will say anything about anybody so pat bev is one of the best defenders in the league on ball and at what he does he is one of the best at it so desmond bain at the top of very good i believe i don't think he's quite all-star yet but he's one of the best shooters in the nba a great score and he fits memphis he almost shot 50 40 90 last year and averaged i think 22 again game so he's another player that can definitely be an all-star at some point in his career but i think at the top of very good is a good spot for him right now tyler hero he is very good he is very good not all-star quite yet won six men of the year unfortunately couldn't see him in the playoffs he broke his hand in the first game but he's a very good player a good shooter a underrated passer does miami get rid of him we don't know yet like i said dame trade has not happened yet but i think he fits well with that heat team if they do end up keeping him and he's a player that 
that can kind of do everything offensively. He can score from anywhere. Underrated finisher, not going to dunk on you, but underrated finisher, mid-range is great, off the dribble. Great guy to come off ball screens as well. Great pick and roll guy. I think very good is good for him. Jante Murray, he's not an all-star either. I'm going to put him in very good. I'll fix this later. A great defender, long arms, led the league in steals, I think, a year or two. Underrated score, improving his shooting, I believe. I didn't catch that many Hawks games, but from the stuff that I did see in the short stint in the playoffs, he did play pretty good, uh, solid, and he's just a wild card. He's a good player, very good player. And then these guys, I have them down here. They're just decent. Evan Fournier is hilarious, bro. I'm not gonna lie. All right, that's the list down here. Now to put these players in order. All right, let's start with decent. I'm gonna let decent rock out. Solid. Who is the best solid player in here? Man, I ain't gonna get all these right. Some of y'all gonna be mad at me. My list, what I would do. I'm going Dinwiddie, Giddy, Herb Jones. That's my top three. After that, I'm going Vassell. After Vassell, I'm going to go... I like Jaden Ivey's potential is insane. I'm going with Jaden Ivey. After Jaden Ivey, I'm going with Rozier. After Rozier, I'm going with Lavert, Gary Trent, Matt Thurn, Herter. The very good list. This is what I'm going with. I'm going with DeJounte Murray here. I'm going Bain, Murray, Hero. This looks about right. I mean, based off last year, I'm putting Clay over Jordan Poole. And then you got Jalen Green. This list right here looks pretty good too. I mean, you might could put Levine over PG, but I'm keeping PG right there. Jalen Brown, Ant-Man, and is Donovan, is Mitchell better than Book? I'm keeping Book at the top of Superstar. So this is my list. Some of you guys are obviously going to disagree. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. It means a lot to me. I'm starting to see regulars and guys come back, comment, show support. That means a lot. I noticed your guys' comments of who was coming back and watching videos, but thank you guys for watching. Check out this video. Check out the video on the screen. It'll be somewhere on the screen. I don't know where. But thank you guys for watching. Check out my other videos, my playlist, and if you made it this far, like I said, thank you. Peace.